welcome to May 18th, 2008, the first day of the week, meaning it is time now to get into the Lord's Care Ministry, a light shining from above. Brethren, what I always like to say, if you see light, it's changed the word to knowledge. A knowledge shining from above. Day 139 of the year 2008. As the Father hath light in himself, so hath he given to the Son to have life in himself. John chapter 5 and verse 26. Our Savior Jesus Christ has abolished death and has brought life and immortality to light or knowledge through the gospel. Second Corinthians, pardon me, Second Timothy chapter 1 and verse 10. I am the resurrection and the life. John chapter 11 verse 25. Because I live, you shall live also. John chapter 14 verse 19. We are made partakers of Christ. Hebrews chapter 3 and verse 14. Partakers of the Holy Spirit. Hebrews chapter 6 and verse 4. Partakers of the divine nature. Second Peter chapter 1 and verse 4. The first man Adam was made a living soul. The last Adam was made a quickening spirit. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed in a moment. In the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 45 and 51 through 52. Holy, holy, holy Lord God Almighty, which was and is, and is to come, who is living forever and ever. Revelation Chapter 4, verses 8-9 The blessed and only potentate, the King of kings, the Lord of lords, who only has immortality. 1 Timothy, chapter 6, verses 15-16 through 16. Unto the King eternal, immortal, be honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 17. Duties of the believer in the church. Unity of sediment. Where to we have already attained. Let us walk in the same rule. Let us mind the same thing. Philippians chapter 3 and verse 16. Bound to one Lord by common vow in one great enterprise, one faith, one hope, one center now, our common home, the skies. In God's word only do we trust, never in the tradition of men. His, a Philippian pilgrim, a workman for God, a friend of Christ, only a beam of sunshine, let your knowledge shine before men. Matthew chapter 5 and verse 16. Well, brother, here we are on the first day of, of the week. And the Bible says it is our work day, the first work day of the week. Brethren, do you take this day as a Sabbath? Can you find it in the Bible, any place where this day was sanctified by the Lord or even by any of the apostles? No, I don't think you will find it. 
not in one place. So why do you do it? Because you are following the tradition of men. That's why. And not the tradition of the Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ. Brethren, if you really want to follow Christ, if you call yourself a Christian, remember, it's a way of life. Not anything else. Not a denomination or a religion. Brethren, if you want, really want to change, get down on your knees and repent of this and ask the Lord to show you the way. And if you truly want to change, He will do it. Well, brethren, that's about it for today. You all have a great and wonderful day. I know I will. God willing, we'll see you tomorrow.